Africa Day, celebrated on the 25th of May every year. But given the significance of the day, the celebration often extends beyond the day. Recognition is often extended for the entire month of May with activities and celebrations that highlight the continent and its diversity and pressing issues for all concerns. This year, SABC has partnered with Mail and Guardian to celebrate Africa Month through a series of activities spread throughout May 2022. This includes the launch of the Big Africa Debate. It's an annual debate focusing on issues aligned to the prevailing theme of the African Union. Our reporter, Mariska Buerta, is there. Mariska, talk to us about this. This should be an interesting one. Yes, good morning to you. We're coming to you from the CBD of Cape Town with that inaugural Big Africa debate, as you mentioned, Leanne. And I must just mention also, we dress very warmly because winter has found the Western Cape, finally. Uh, but it's cold outside, but warm in here as the SABC prepares for that inaugural uh, Big Africa debate. But we're going to speak to Gugu Ntuli, the SABC group, group executive of Corporate Affairs and Marketing, to tell us a little bit more about the idea behind the Big Africa debate. Gugu, thank you so very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. What is this initiative about? You know, as the SABC, we are the largest public broadcaster on the continent and really our, our ethos, our, our reason of being is really to be a leading voice uh, of the nation as well as of the continent. And for the longest time, we have believed, we've, we've known that um, the platforms that we have, which is 19 radio stations, six television stations, have immense power in ensuring that there's a social cohesion, not only nationally, but across the continent. We have SABC news brands all across different uh, countries, as well as some of our radio brands like Channel Africa. So really today is a platform that we're initiating to really um, change views about the continent, um, really promote debate and, uh, and make sure that perceptions and stories of Africa are being told through our platforms. How do you plan to achieve that through these debates? What are the kind of topics that will come under discussion? Well, I mean, there, there are a few. I mean, we're, we're really being uh, in, guided and informed by the annual topics of the, of the uh, AU. Uh, obviously, this year's focus is development through nutrition. Uh, however, for, for us, we wanted to take a slightly different uh, uh, take to it and look at the infrastructure component, but all looking at development. And as you know, SABC plays a massive role in human development and ensuring that people have access to information, people are able to educate themselves, entertain themselves, and, and stay informed through our platforms. And what you said a little bit earlier, not people don't always realize that the SABC broadcasts across the world and deep into the continent. I mean, we, we represent it across the continent. Is that not right? Absolutely. And uh, we not only uh, uh, present our content in, in uh, English and, and South African indigenous languages, 11 official languages, but also we broadcast our content in uh, some of the key languages on the continent, such as French, Portuguese, Chinyanja, Shilozi, uh, Swahili. Therefore, our content is very accessible to m many Africans. So what can people look forward to today? What's, what's first? This is the kickoff. Absolutely. We've got some exciting uh, 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 leaders uh, in, the, in the public space, uh, in, as well as the private sector, who are going to be debating about various issues of mobilizing uh, resources around infrastructure development on, on the continent. And uh, it will be hosted by a very well-known uh, Channel Africa presenters, as well as uh, the, the debate will be facilitated by um, Adrian Sampier, who we know very well, who actually hosts um, the Africa program on SABC News. Lastly, maybe just why the partnership with the Mail and Guardian? You know, the Mail and Guardian is uh, a natural fit for us because they have uh, a really um, uh, a connected and, and, and wide readership across the continent already. They are very Africa-centric and uh, they, they really speak to our our ethos and our vision and so what better partner to, to, to come together with. They have a very strong print component as well as digital and uh, we bring the broadcast component and together they make uh, for a very wonderful partnership. I know I said that was the last word but Gugu <laughs> are you excited about this and tell us why. Absolutely you know uh, the SABC really is showing its might here. You know, we are in Cape Town during the week of the mining in Daba where there's lots going on, lots of dignitaries. And really, as the SABC, we are actually demonstrating that through public broadcasting, so much can be done to really uh, ensure that Africans and like-minded Africans are integrating and 
debating so that they can create a better future for this continent. Thank you very much, Gugu and Tuli, speaking to us. They're very excited about the big African debate that we'll be launching here. Behind us, I'm just going to step out of shot for a moment so you can see that stage. There's beautiful banners of the SABC and the African debate on the uh, my right-hand side, your left. Um, so there's a little bit of a buzz here. The band is waiting to start playing. Uh, they want to chase away some of that call that's reached the Western Cape almost overnight. Uh, so the big debate is ready to kick off here.